Meet Arty, short for Artipithecus ramidus, the ancient fossils of a partial female skeleton who is changing our ideas about the origins of mankind. Discovered starting in the mid-90s in Ethiopia, Arty and her kind are thought to be 4.4 million years old. That's a million years older than the iconic bones of Lucy, the primitive female figure that has long symbolized humankind's beginnings. After 15 years of rumors, researchers are finally unveiling their studies of Arty. They reveal our ancestors were more like us and less like chimps than scholars had assumed. The most striking thing is, is that everybody in the world, uh, up to now, has thought that we evolved something that was generally chimpanzee-like. It turns out that chimpanzees have evolved from something that's more human-like. And so uh, the evolution that we see is pretty much the reverse of what we thought. Dr. Lovejoy says people often assume humans evolved from apes. These fossils, however, show that apes, in many ways, evolved from humans. Indeed, what seems most ancient about non-human primates today, canine fangs, long limbs with hooked fingers meant for swinging through trees, and hands designed for knuckle walking, may actually be the product of more recent development. In that sense, the human hand today actually may be the more primitive appendage. Already, the discoveries have experts reworking the human pedigree. They undoubtedly will shape debates about human origins for years to come. Although Artie throws a wrench in one of Charles Darwin's ideas, Dr. Lovejoy says the father of evolution would have been pleased with her discovery. Darwin would be ecstatic. Um, he didn't have any fossils. The only fossils he had were, were Neanderthals. Uh, his theory was pretty good. I mean, Darwin argued that we, the, the, the canine reduced because we took up tools. Um, and that the brain got big because um, we began to use tools. And that was his algorithm for human evolution. It's completely wrong, but it's only wrong because of what we know today. It's a perfectly good theory. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm science columnist Robert Lee Hotz.